we've got some guests coming on. Now, before we bring our guest on, I don't want him to go away because he's the man, y'all, truly the man. And maybe he can help me convince these youngins what's really what in the industry of acting. Please welcome everyone. Producer extraordinaire, Mr. Robert Parada. Hey, hey, now, hey, how are you? For the longest time, uh -huh. this handsome gentleman allowed me to call him Robert Parada. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Paula? You looking good, Paula? I, I had to let the boobies out. You know, it was kind of <laughs> here. I, I had to push it back a little bit. <laughs> but um, I was so embarrassed when I finally realized your name is Parada. Doe. Parada. 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 It's the same as products. You got to add one I. I, I got mean, it. A. It don't got me. So, oh, yes. I love the vino. So we've got, I, I've you. got sort of vino. It's, right. it's a little brown. Vino S. Uh, of it? course. Must you ask? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got youngins over here. Now, Robert is our guest today because um, my boy Corrupt and I have been, you know, offered or people in the industry have been asking to take meetings with us to spin this show off into a sitcom. Mm -hmm. so, oh, really? Okay. Yes. Corrupt and I, we have ideas. Of course, mm -hmm. we always have ideas. Everybody always has an idea. But mm -hmm. the goal is to bring that idea into fruition. Right. So we went to our boy, Robert Parada, because mm -hmm. Robert has successfully been able to take other rappers' dreams, we can talk about ICE as we go, as well as other actors' and directors' dreams, and bring them from the mind onto the screen. So these young people right here, I'm trying to, you know, lull them into the game, but they're talking about plan Bs. And as far as I know, no one who ever successfully accomplishes plan A um, necessarily falls back on plan B. They might have began with plan B and then got so frustrated and then gone off to plan A. But if you genuinely want anything in life, um, can you give me your thoughts on Plan B's? And we're not talking about Plan B, um, Aniston yeah. and Pitt's production company. <laughs> <laughs> or the birth control, about, right. Okay, we're talking about life choices and opportunities. How did you get into film? Did you begin with a desire to be a producer? No, I didn't really understand what a producer did before when I was younger, but I was I was uh, unknowingly producing projects for my little brother. So my little brother's a writer director. So he he dragged me out uh, with all the equipment. You know, I'd help him put it together, have some friends be in it or whatever, but I'd be subconsciously producing stuff with him. So we did short after short after short. And a few of my buddies ended up going to college and one became a lawyer slash filmmaker. And a lot of, a lot of others became either actors, producers, or somewhat somewhere in the industry. And fortunately I was born and raised in LA, you know, which really helped yes. my situation out a yes. lot. Cause, cause my whole circles were in it, you know, and, 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 and me doing it unknowingly got me to fall in love with now you mentioned being from LA, but I really don't know if people get how important it is to be from this town if acting or the industry is what you want. So many of us are implants and we come here looking and searching and hoping and praying for the dream. But the people who are born here have an advantage because they are not searching for what they already have grown up with and realized was not a dream, but a job. So people right. from here often end up taking over the industry. Um, people like Regina King, um, right. Ava DuVernay, um, the list goes on and on. Bentley, rappers from Ice Cube, you know, to, to Ice T, yeah, yeah. Ice T, exactly. Yeah, you know, although right. I don't think he's actually from LA, but he 
It's he claims the it. World. He's pimped the whole world because my mother, <laughs> my mother remembers. He's from New Jersey, actually. He's from New Jersey. Yeah. Detroit. <laughs> she right. said he was 16 and in right. the streets. And her right. friend was like, yeah, that's the ice. He about to blow the game up. And she was like, that's yeah. okay, but blow what game up. But yeah. my point is, yes. But Nia Long, the list goes on and on because, right, 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 right. you know, there are people behind the scenes with power because being from LA is, is a coup because you already <laughs> have the you already, here. you already right. have, you already understand the game. You already have the names. So it's nothing to be able to take over this industry. These are siblings. These three right here are siblings. And okay. um, as you just mentioned, your brother and yourself. So go ahead, finish. So some of your friends went to college. So now you're out of, everyone's out of college and it's time Every, to pick. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't go right to college. I, okay, I, I think what, what also helped my journey is I, I, uh, when you end up becoming a producer, you start understanding, obviously you start understanding what a producer does. And, and what does it, a producer do? And, and that's a great question. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, but but for the audience, it's like a, a true producer takes a, uh, the idea of, of, of what he's trying to get done. Or it could be somebody else's idea, not necessarily his. But a true producer takes that idea and, and, and is, is along for the entire journey, right? From, from the seed of the idea to the script, to the production, to the, to the distribution of it, to the marketing of it. So I think a true producer takes the project from here all the way here when it comes to movies, at least. Right. Right. But and that involves but, funding, casting. Yeah. You're involved in every the to the Twitter. Right. For casting, the production, you're in pre-production, production and post-production. But but as a producer, you're a manager. You know, at times you're even a lawyer because you're looking through agreements and trying to you know, not send it to the lawyer just yet. So you're a little bit of an, of, of an attorney. You're a little bit of a manager, um, but you're definitely a leader, right? right. To be able to, to uh, get everybody to believe in the vision you want to create and raise the money for it and, and, and eventually make it and then see it out. And to, it helps to, to have to contacts, to know one, one, people. 100%, 100%. Because basically a producer is getting all the ingredients to make the cake. So you have to yes. go out and get the writer, the producer, the money, all the people that you know will gel together to build this creative cake. You know what, you said it perfectly because I use the analogy of my mom having a bakery. My mom worked for McDonald's 20 years. Wow. And, and, and when, she, when she came home one day when I was like 12 or 13, you know, Latinos from LA, like she never, my mom never left. It was like, my mom and dad were always home. So for her to leave for two weeks was a big deal. She ended up going to Hamburger University because uh, McDonald's, nice, nice, cheers, you know? <laughs> so she, she ended up going to ha Hamburger University, uh, which, is, which is, McDonald's sends their managers there for a few weeks uh, before they officially become managers. What up, corrupt, yeah, yeah. You know, but so when she left home for two weeks, she she came home and, uh, you know, we're, me and my brother are asleep. I'm like 12 or 13 and she wakes us up and she uh, she throws a book on my bed, which is Ray Kroc's Grinding It Out. You know, the story of uh, the making of McDonald's. Yes, and I don't know if I don't know if either of you have seen the founder. Have you guys I seen the, the founder? Movie. Yes, I did. Yeah. It was great. I mean, yes. Michael Keaton's fantastic. Right? Great movie. Yes. I love it. So that story. We showed I, it to I my son. In. Yes. Awesome. Definitely. Awesome. And if you recall, in the beginning, he, he mentions a quote by Calvin Coolidge, which he also repeats at the end. Like in the beginning, he's listening to like a motivational tape. And then at the end, he repeats it too. And he's going to say a speech. But, but part of that part of that Calvin Coolidge quote is that nothing takes the place of persistence. You know, talent won't, this won't, that won't. It's, it's persistence that will really get you to where you want to be. Because if you know, if you know, this, I mean, you've seen the story, but Ray Kroc, failed and failed till he was like in his late 50s when he finally hit it with mcdonald's so that's so my mom put that story my mom put that story on my bed yeah, at the age yeah. of 12 or 13 so that that story of persistence and never giving up was instilled in me from that book and that story and eventually helped my journey in that crossed over to entertainment and to that's just be persistent. what i love about you it's funny that you say that because 
working with you on Taco Shop, and we'll get to how that all got, you know, together, put to how you did that. That let me know right then, this man is not giving up. I don't care what, you know, what comes against us on set, preset, post set, you have consistently been consistent about your hustle. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby. You, you got you too. You know, I love you guys' hustle and and and, and you guys' heart. And um, I'm I'm happy you guys invited me to, to your podcast. So oh, thank would you be yeah. it's no no brainer. So let's yeah. let's talk about Taco Shop. Was okay. your brother involved in Taco Shop with us? He was not. He was off doing another project, but but um, Taco Shop which is a film I'm very proud of, right? It was produced, I did it with the producer of Selena to be able to work with a legendary producer like Montezuma, who's always been about the Brown movement, you know? And uh, he, he, there, there's actually a movie on HBO called Walkout about the 1967 Chicano walkouts. Did you see that? Yes. Uh, Michael, Michael Pe- I see it all, yes. Yeah, yeah, Michael, yes. Michael, Pena's, Michael Pena's the lead. And yeah. there's even a character in that movie, uh, Called Montezuma Sparza. He produced it with, and Eddie almost directed it. Right, but right. so he's such a pioneer in, in, in the Latin space, in the Latino space, that it was obviously an honor to be making the movie with them. Yes, but I, yes, I, I was I, honored I, as well. Yes. Yeah. So, so <laughs> it, 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 it was, it, it's like if you really break down the movie, you really see how many special people will, were involved, starting with you two. I mean, having, having Corrupt do the, the closing song on, on Taco Shop was was historical you know historical and the memory of, of recording it was i'll never forget it obviously but so and and, 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 and i love you had a good shot <laughs> welcome no, and I just, back my honey i got my blue hair on and i love it yeah welcome my baby back we missed you we missed you so we got robin here i see it that's my partner Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. Robert more in the works. Is explaining yes, to our children what it means and what it takes to be a producer. Now, I was talking to Robert about how different people have approached us about turning what we're doing here into a sitcom. So we have ideas, and you know, I'm loving the sitcom genre right now. Um, right. One of my faves, um, Netflix is doing great things with the three camera. I'm loving the Wanda Sykes um, and the woman I'm in the game because of Miss Kim Fields. Right. Uh, that show is everything. And our boy, he's in it too, um, you know, from Fridays, not my Friday, but all the other Fridays. Um, he's well, yeah, it's a great show. So, you know, Corrupt and I have ideas, but I was thinking we want, so the first step would be, of course, to get someone like you to help us, to guide us in the proper direction. So I'm thinking the next step would be a writer, to attach a writer. Am I wrong? Am I right? No, you're right. I mean, we can't, an idea only goes so far. Like when you start getting into certain rooms, uh, you need something. You, know, right. you, you so need something on paper. Plus, it shows got, the, it shows a commitment too. We've got somebody so actually many wrote it. Phenomenal writers that want to be down, and we want to be down. I was thinking, what if we invited a few of them to play uh, PJ and Corrupt Jeopardy? Because writing it is the easy part, but knowing who you're writing for and writing to, that to me. It, that is where the talent is to be able to write two two totally distinct people and be able to have their voice come across through your words you know number right. one on my list of course to invite would be oscar yes he's amazing yeah you know, he, 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 He's working on a, on a script called Breaking Out Grandma right now, which he's oh, done with it, oh, but it's, it's, yes. a, it's hilarious, hilarious. Yes, and, yeah. you know, another one of my faves is Coke Daniels. Coke like is Coke. huge yeah. right now. I don't know if you guys have heard, but he and Taryn Manning um, got together, and they've got a project out called Nancy. What's the lady's name? The white lady who is nosy. Uh, I think hmm. her name is. 
Nancy. Karen. 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 Yeah. So Coke is hot. Coke might, you know, think he above coming, you know, and playing the <laughs> cross game. I don't I, know. I, 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 I know Coke very well. But, but, but yeah. yeah. Coke, I did. My baby daddy, my baby mama, my baby somebody with Coke. Um, right, right, right. We've got Bentley's whole camp of writers. Then I've got right. also the whole camp of Disney writers. And what do you think? Is that because to me, all of the people we would invite are people I would want to be on our writing team once we sell our show anyway. So, you know, right. what, how do you choose writers do you make them all submit a spec this way i thought since it is basically a um a transition from what we're doing here to what we'd be doing on a sitcom i thought it'd be fun to let the audience in on you know the choosing of what's actually the foundation of your show your that, head right, right. That's pretty cool, you know, to get the the audience involved. At the end of the day, they're they're the ones that are going to watch your content, you know. So it's it's not it's not a bad idea at all, you know. And then and then go from there. But yeah, I typically read read their work, you know, or or, or see their read or see their work, and then go from there, you know. Then then take a meeting, see if we vibe, right? Ninety percent of it, even though they could be dope as hell, is that we don't vibe. So, and you know, I think the beauty of making our own shows or doing our own thing is is working with people we love and, and have a good time with you know we create our own world you know so it's a special Hello, thing gorgeous. hi how are you so here is our cutie of the week miss okay. Kanda v simpson now nice. i will take it thank you what's Kanda, up what's up Taja, this is robert parada a uh, producer extraordinaire nice to meet hi. you um, and that's hi Kira. hi in the empty box right there. <laughs> right there. So, He's in the booth recording a verse. No. Tasha, <laughs> right now, yeah. We're talking to Robert about producing a project for Corrupt and I that will transition from what we're doing on this podcast into a three camera setup sitcom. So we Love brought it. Robert on board to help us navigate and help this this is called the forum everybody welcome to the forum i'll call it jay parker i don't think yeah I'm yeah yeah anyway. yes 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 and that's corrupt in the empty <laughs> this is dr v simpson our cutie of the week and this is robert Parada. now i like that robert, cutie of the week idea yeah <laughs> is an actress extraordinaire you may recognize okay. her face from hits like the oval she yeah. works okay. with our our hero, Tyler Perry, all the time. Tyler, okay. I know you have a star on Tyler's Walk of Fame. I wish I did on my way to. <laughs> okay, yes. What you waiting on, Tyler? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come on, Tyler. Sure, sure. I'm going I on know. Hollywood before Tyler give, me, give you yours. Goodness. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, Tyler. You know I'm just playing. Uh, but yes, so right now, Taja has a project that she's put together on her own that mm -hmm. is basically, she's producing all of us mm -hmm. actors into one space where yeah. we can all come together and be a network to each other. Can you right. talk more about what you're doing, Taja? Absolutely, I'm so excited guys and Robert. My name is again, Taja, but my um, network that I've created is called the Working Actors Academy. The Working okay. Actors Academy. Um, okay. As an actor, what's the biggest goal? Work. Be a working actor. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, so I wanted to create a space for actors, like an online community for actors to be able to come and learn about the business. Um, because I'm on television every week, I get questions all the time. How do I get started in acting? What do I need to do? How do I break into it? Can you be my mentor? I'm sure you get the same questions all the time, Paula. That's why you I'm doing the mean? show. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, you get so much, you know, and it's like I would do one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions and all these different things. And, but it got to be so much, I didn't have the time to do it anymore. And so I started thinking like, what could I do to help more people? And I was like, oh, you know what? I could write a book about it. So I, had a, I wrote a book called Cracking the Acting Code or Practical, thank you. 
a practical step by step guide to becoming a professional actor. Now, did you self publish or did you self publish? Good for mm-hmm. you, Diva. Yeah, okay. the whole thing. Um, then from there, it was like, okay, when people would ask me, I'm like, it's all in the book. It's all, I wrote a book about it. Yes, you know, and then, you read I don't it know. Right. Want to read it though? It's, it's, right. not even, it's a practical book. It just tells you everything. But right. you know, the world we live in now, everyone wants to see something visual. Right. And so I had to get with the times. And I was like, okay, the questions still kept coming and all of that. So I was like, well, let me. How can I do? How, what could I do? And I thought about doing like an online program. And so that's what I put together. You can go to the workingactorsacademy.com, and every single person that signed up, it's only ninety nine dollars right now up until our launch, which is July sixth. Um, or a free workshop. I'm not, actually, I'm doing a free acting workshop on July 6th. The launch is July 7th. My birthday is July 8th, and I started a movie Congratulations. July 9th. <laughs> wow. Congratulations <laughs> on top of congratulations. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. you okay, know, so that's a lot of money, Taja. What do we it get is. for $99? Whew, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to teach you about understanding your type and knowing who you are. It's going to take talk to you about the styles and tones of acting. Um, like you're talking about a sitcom, a situational comedy that's completely different from all the different types of episodics. It's going to teach you to understanding how to really break down tone. Like right. tone is really important in every that's show. Is very different. That is a that's, lot for 99. Because that's a lot. you're absolutely right. A half hour show used to always be called a sitcom. But right. I think is the oval half hour. No, it's an hour. It's an hour. But an hour. I know Tyler does have some half hours that mm-hmm. are not your your his average sitcom. He does right. have the three camera sitcoms like The House of Pain and exactly. Leave the Browns. But he exactly. also does some half hours that are shot like his hour shows, like your show, which is exactly. a totally different um like title. a multi-cam and a single cam. Exactly. exactly. It's exactly. multi-cam and single cam. And then the and then the sometimes trick, the, the trick single with that, cameras are multi-camera. Oh, so, they are. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, so it's literally sometimes all that down. when they don't have much of a budget, they really single camera. They really single. Well, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> when, when the show is on at least one season, you might get an extra red dot. Yes. I don't, I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm just saying. So he right. he does all of the producing. So you guys need to get together. Maybe Robert. You know, I'd love to come. And do you have professionals that come and talk to? Do you have mm-hmm. casting directors that come and, yeah, that's for ninety nine dollars, exactly. that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. That's exactly what we're doing. It launches on, like I said, July seventh, and that's what it, that all is all in the course, right? Because I it mean, also, let's be honest, Taja. As yeah. actresses, you know, myself, I used to have best friends that were actresses, and mm-hmm. I'll never forget myself and Elise Neal, Puff Daddy used to always say to us, I don't understand how y'all friends. Y'all ain't gonna be friends for long because actresses can't be friends. Y'all just can't uh, be friends. And we'd be like, <laughs> why can't actresses be friends? Maybe right, actresses right. can't be friends, but you know, but is is he, he, he does have something there because mm-hmm. I find that actresses are a little competitive. Now, oh. not all, but are we living in a <laughs> fantasy world that we think that, you know, this actress is going to actually share her, her audition with the next actress, whether she got it or didn't get it? I mean, yeah. I do, but hey, they call me Boo Boo the Fool, but I'm just saying, <laughs> will, will we all? Or, or- that's good. That's good. That's, that's a part of the community because I think it's important for you to understand and know who you are and know your type. Um, when you know who you are and you're confident in that and you know it, what's yours is yours, period. I agree. So that's when we talk that's about cool. type, I mean, mm-hmm. we want to say there's still that, you know, type, the mammy, the tragic mulatto, mm-hmm. the hero, the, but it's really just black folk. <laughs> yeah, but they're still a type. It's really just Latinas. Yeah, you know, but you they're just, still a, yeah, but they're still a type when it comes to that. When you watch television, there's still a, there's there's different styles and tones so of television. So do you think that you and and I of would never go out for the same role? 
We could, but no, we I never. Think we would. <laughs> I think we would. I think we would. And that's why I'm so glad that it's a new day. I do not have to go in the room and see you right. and all fine. Because that's part of the mind game right there. I got to walk in the room and see a whole bunch of me's. You know, but if I walked in the room and it'd be just like, uh, rat sitting over there or something, then I'd be like, okay, I got this. That rat can't talk. But you know, right, right, right. I think part of the and do we as actors, Robert, do you typecast actors? Do or you know, would corrupt if he ever comes back be put in the rapper actor guy category? Or do you have to transcend to become an actor if you do other things? When you're thinking about casting, you know, do you think okay, I need a rapper in this part? Or do you say, you know, I need the best? Yeah, I, I sort of like doing what people don't expect. So if it was it was corrupt doing some, something for me, I don't know if I'd put him as, as a rapper. Right. You know, I'd, wanna, I'd want him to get a little challenged, send him to some, some more acting classes. Not that he's not a good actor, but just to get refreshed on things and, and really just, you know, do his thing, you know? I agree. Um, let me let me jump in there. Let me jump okay, in there. Because, jump on because, in. When you're, because when you're starting out as an actor, you're like, oh, I'm an actor. I can do anything. Okay. Right. However, you're going to do more of what your type is before you're able to do anything, right? But I so, found, that's a good point. Taza, right? just to jump in there too. Yeah. I found that my type became the first role I got. Mm -hmm. Because Friday was my first acknowledged movie my type became you ain't got to lie blah, 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 hey Craig you know I love you know but lucky for me I had I did both movies Tales from the Hood and Friday at the same time so mm. it didn't pigeonhole me but I kept mm. getting because Friday did the best in the in the market I kept mm. getting those same types of roles to the point mm -hmm. where people began to think I had you know, become stereotyped. Right. That that's all you could do. That that's all right. they, that that's what they that's what they knew you for. Um, but at the same time, when you're starting off and you're trying to get credits, you're trying to book a co-star role. If you're a waitress on this show and a waitress on that show, okay, right? <laughs> you're more than just a waitress, <laughs> right? You're, and so you're getting started. You're building. That's that's when you're in the building phases, and when right. you're building a career, right? You, that's, typically, that's you're going to be cast more of what you talk about, right? It. Yes. Typically, you're going to get cast in more of what people see you as. And then as you branch out and do other things and you get more skill set and you get more experience, this game, this, this industry is about trust. Can I trust That's you enough haul. to hire you to go in there and do your job and not make me look right. bad? That's the producers right. are trusting, casting is trusting, no directors trusting, all of it. That's and right. if you don't have That's the experience right. under your belt of all these different co-stars or whatever, then I don't know about you ready for this role because I don't know that I can trust you and you're ready for that. So, so it's, it's about right. building. It's about the Basically. long game. It's building your career. And you right. were smart to do two different characters and two different movies at the that same time. Smart, so it's girl. not like a smart. Role. Do we yeah. have the ability, smart or not smart as actors, like you said, when you're building, I'll take whatever you give me, father. You know, mm -hmm. I wasn't mm -hmm. smart. Mm -hmm. I was blessed. You know, I, mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't plan it because if it was me, I thought Tales from the Hood was gonna be the one to hit. You know, yeah. with the thunk, it'd have been the one that the rapper did and then yeah. not the rapper you know yeah yeah man has no clue <laughs> so don't don't put it on me i was smart i i don't know if i'd have gotten anything i'm dyslexic so welcome <laughs> back corrupt speaking of rapper i want it's you to meet yeah. taja yeah. Yeah. taja yeah. is one of my co-stars on our show which was recently nominated for a daytime emmy we did not yeah, congratulations. Well, we congratulations. We did that sound not like lose. That sounds like that proud game. We did not that lose. Me. We placed because there we, we go. were nominated. Um, there we go. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Well, congratulations to you. Can we brag on you for a bit? You know, okay. I've been talking to our guests, but sometimes I be feeling like you a guest. Okay, let me get. <laughs> what? I'd be like, where my co-star? Where my co-star at? Hey, yeah. <laughs> so he be out there making that uh, big time money. So I've got some pictures that um, 
wifey sent to brag. <laughs> but okay, now you're yes, good. Sir. this was yeah, yeah, yeah. on Times Square. Now, nice. can, I, can you brag hell a little yeah, for yeah. us? Can you just brag? Because you, we, I, I don't even know all it. Who are the horsemen? Can you let me know every single one of your brothers? Who are my uh, brothers now, too? The, the, the horsemen is comprised of myself, uh, Cannabis, Raz Kaz, and uh, Killer Priest from Wu Tang. Oh, yeah, that's Philadelphia. That's Damn. where the Sixers and the uh, Fi uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Phillies play at. Now, how many of mm. you guys are there in the horsemen? There's four of us, you know what I'm saying? Like We've the been four famous. horsemen of the apocalypse. Exactly. That's Phenomenal where we are. timing. My name is Famine. Okay. Raz Kaz is pestilence. Yes. Priest is death. And cannabis is war. Wow. And we are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That's why the cover is like that. I and, am, you know, took I off, am so honored. Yeah, it's real hip hop. And right now, that's really mm. not the favorite of a lot of people. But the real mm. hip hop fans really supported us and came out and put us on the charts. We, we yes, you out. guys previewed at number six on the um, your first week out. And mm -hmm. now you're number 30 on the top 100 charts. As right. far as new artists, you're 41. Right. And iTunes top 40, you're, you're um, 26. So right. you're just growing yeah, yeah. and growing and growing beautiful. and growing. And that is a beautiful thing. Because I didn't hear anything. And it's independent, right? Through Fat Beats, which is one of our legendary uh, it's record shops, which, you know, their hardcore hip hop started from Joe in the Bronx and expanded to the West Coast. And now they do distribution and they, you know, giving us the opportunity to bring the culture back, real hip hop, mm. which I think is, mm. is, is quite crazy yeah. because, you know, there's so much diverse music nowadays, so many different genres of, of this music wow. game we call hip hop. Right. And right. We took it back to the essence and people really. Uh, flock to it. That was a great thing. Nice. So right. let's talk about Philly. Oh, what, yeah. what, what other honor is Philly blessing my brother with? Can can we well, can because yeah. I'll say it if you if you too humble, I will. I have no problem. <laughs> say it, Paula. <laughs> Tell him, Paula. Corrupt way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay, his uh, his childhood street is now called Corrupt Way. Oh, oh yeah. August seventh. I, I did not August seventh is the amazing. unveiling of the street, the original street, oh, Clifton Ave in Darby Township, Sharon Hill, right by the mm -hmm. Philadelphia Airport. And um, yeah, that's where I spent most of my childhood, right there. And you also, still have the Denver. house, right? And still got the house. My mama passed away and it went to me. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, we still have the house. My sister Angie's in there, uh, keeping it in the family. I got to have family in it because that's my mama and my father on it. And so, you know, yeah, we still got the house here and they're going to change Clifton Ave to Corrupt's Way. I thought wow. I said Wow. Oh, that's awesome. That's Congratulations. It really is, man. Yeah, yeah. God is good. Yeah. Got me feeling like Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah. As you said, I had a dream. You, have done right, right. you really, really have. Um, and that's why, that's you know, we're talking to Robert right now about us segueing this into something more than what we're giving them now. We bring on such beautiful people like Taja and Robert, and we bringing them to the people. And like I said, we're doing it who for, for, for who for them? Well, they grew up doing it for you. <laughs> and when you do that, God can't help but bless you. So, my That's brother, right. this is a long time coming. I am so very proud of you. And you get out there and you take the world by storm. But just make sure you always come back home. <laughs> I mean, I got to do it. I mean, you know, I've been, gotcha. I've been gone. Do it. You know, I've been gone on the road. You know, I said, you know what? The 4th of July weekend's here. Me and my wife got our children over. You know, they all grown. Beautiful. My daughter's flying nice. from Delaware, Mackenzie. So my son Trent is coming. 
you know, that's me and rest in peace, Natina Reed's son from the group Black. You know, we have a son and um, he's coming out. It's a great time. I still got to do a show tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, where? So the people can come. Well, I'm going to be out in Ala, Ala, Ala. Hmm. Robert, <laughs> help me with this. Ala, Ala. Alhambra? Alhambra? Uh, it's by Riverside. I mean, it's by uh, B- Victorville. I think it's, so. No. Oh, uh, I don't even know what. Ala, Ala. Yeah, oh, that was Alhambra. That's, yeah, that's right. all I know, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ala, me, Ala, yeah, that part. Alameda? So, so we're going to be out there by Victorville. You know if you saying? know, oh, if you're yeah. Ala and you're by Victorville, that's where he's coming. Right. Go out and it's support. Kush stock. It's called Kush Stock, like Woodstock. That's where all the people that smoke this good green going to come. Party with hey. Club. I'm hitting them with nothing but classics. I've been on hey. the road for the past month and a half. You understand me? Making it happen. I had to take a little time out, and it feels good to be back to the Paula J and Corrupt Forum. All right, it happen with such lovely people. <laughs> I mean, hello. Okay, baby. Yeah. What made you? What made you become a producer? What made you? Was it just Robert's persistence, or was it something that you were interested in doing, investing your money in? Anyway. Uh, well, you know, film, that's my thing. That's my right. second thing. You know, Tupac really put me on the film bug and let me know that I can do it. You know, it's really not that difficult. So Tupac gave me some of these pointers about acting. And, and what I, were some of the things he said? Do you remember specifically what he said or well, he told about me acting? How, yeah. He told me how he got his first role. Right. Uh, and w- through that experience, which was Juice, he played Bishop. Right. And he was really up there with Shock G and them because they was reading for um, the movie with Dan Aykroyd. Okay. Yes, that they called, did. I remember uh, the, the horror, horror film, film that they all ended up right. doing. Pac was in that as well. That right. was his first movie. And Pac was sitting in the, in the hallway, he said, you know, posted. Well, comedy horror. A person came out, they was reading for a movie. A person came out, looked at him and said, hey, uh, what's your name? And he was like, oh, my name's Tupac. And he was like, uh, you want to read? For us real quick for he's reading. He said, What's that? He said, Well, you yeah. know, you want to take this script and just, you know, read these lines. This will be you. We are trying to cast, we're casting here. So we read for this guy. You want to come in and give it a try? He said, sure. So then he they let him read it a little bit. He went in, he put the paper down. They said, Okay, we ready. And he's like, All right, let's go. He said, Wait, where's your where's your paper? You know, where's the script? And he was like, Oh, I already know what he said. And then Pop, you know just started read as he was saying, he just started reading them and then he hit them with, look here, partner, and they loved him. It wasn't even mm. his thing. And actually what he was reading was Bishop's part. And mm. the humbug, they was really reading for the guy to play Q. And that was the main guy they was read, that they was looking at. And then they told him he could leave, told Pac to stay and he got the role of Bishop. He said, that's how you do your acting. You take it and you add your own words to it because partner is mm. an Oakland slang and this is a New York based movie. So all mm. through it, you hear Bishop saying, look, partner. And he mm. added that into it and they loved it. Nobody caught that though. Like that's not New right. York. That's an Oakland thing. And then he's like, Riverside right. motherfucker. Yeah. Ain't no motherfucking river. In New York. <laughs> <laughs> had it, all that type of shit and he loved it. And he was like, you know, corrupt, you grab the character and you make it yours. You add mm-hmm. your thing to that character. Exactly. And you, you right. know, basically improvise. So if it says, mm-hmm. you know, you know, hey, I'm going to the store. Do y'all want anything? He said, you know, corrupt, you would say it like, yeah, I'm going to the store. What y'all want? Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Now, and, that uh, becomes um, yeah. so hard when we work with what we're <laughs> looking for right now, writers. Now, yeah. some writers are so egotistical that if they wrote, I'm going to the store, what would you like? They want you to say, I'm going to the store, what would you like? Okay. And they get real mm-hmm. in their feelings about it sometimes. Now, Taja, I've you know. That, I had that happen before too. Right, 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 right. talk about like, it. Like, well, no, corrupt, just say it the regular way. You know, and I was like, okay, I said it the regular way. I said it the regular mm-hmm. way. And then they said, no, corrupt, say it the way you said it before. I kind of like it. Right, right. And, then, and another thing that they ways. told me, That's another thing they told me is, whatever you do, you end it, end it with the words that's on the script, though. End on the page. The words on the mm-hmm. page. Right. So that's you right. can 
go into it with your own whoop wop, but end it with that word because that lets the other act, it signals the other actor, other actor. Know when they come in. That's so right, you know, like, so you know, I'd be like, okay, hey, I'm finna hit the stove. Y'all want anything? I'm finna go right now. If that's how I end it, I'm finna go right, right now. I'm right. going right now. I'm finna that's go right. right now. And then they yeah. say, hey, well, no, you know, what? I don't so know, Tasha. He going to take up your $99. He giving the game away. <laughs> 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 hey, wait, wait, can I mess up? No, 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 to help us facilitate the project that the three of us are working on. You got up and walked away. You don't like my time, so what do you think? Because I believe it's easy to write a script, but how well do you know Paula J and Corrupt? So I suggested we bring on maybe three writers to play right. Paula J and Corrupt Jeopardy. Right. And whoever wins, wins the honor of writing the pilot. Writing the, now, pilot. <laughs> the good part about it is I'm not inviting anybody that I wouldn't want to write the pilot anyway. So right, whoever right. doesn't win is going to be, God willing, a part of our writing team. But writing team. In this mm -hmm. way, I'm just trying to get them involved in us because there would be no what Corrupt and I want to do right now had they not been supportive of what we're doing right now. And right. that's what people are asking about. Like literally management, manager com management companies, um, producers have been like, yo, I heard that there were you and Corrupt have a show on online. Is it a sitcom? And I'm like, no, it's a podcast. Right. So yeah. there's a way for us to transition and still mm -hmm. keep the flavor of what we're doing alive. And that's why we brought on Robert to help us do that. So, Robert, it. can you talk about how you turned Ice T into a judge? No, I, I didn't turn Ice T into a judge. <laughs> I want to be clear about that. We, Ice don't want to be in no judge coat, you know. So Ice wants to be. He wanted to be more of a mediator. We brought on producers. We brought on the cases, and we shot it. So we we shot it, but the format wasn't really what it ended up becoming, you know, I six months ago. Judge. Let me be the judge. Yeah. I wear the robe. Life. Do that. <laughs> that's, it's, it's, I'm going to your court. Life everybody, for what? Every, everybody what you get a post life for? What they do? Everybody's <laughs> guilty besides. Everybody's guilty besides black folks. And that's right. Spanish that's and sir. black folks. Everybody black else. And the right. Black, black and brown. Black and brown. Life. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, you know what, mate? You know, uh, they didn't mean to do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Are, are you right. sorry for what you did? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. right, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> love it. Love it. I'll be that, that, that's, that's officially on the slate now, corrupt. So, you know, let us know um, yeah. the name yeah. of the show, Robert, so we can all tune in. I caught um, uh, the, pre the previews of it when I was in New Orleans uh, because, okay. you know, but I haven't seen it out here yet. So, what is okay, so it's it's called the mediator with Ice T, and Ice T is mediating cases between two parties. So it aired on Fox wow. uh, t TV stations across America a few months back. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so, that is yeah. genius because if it, I know yeah. you and I know Ice, but that man's got so much game in his pinky finger to just spread around the world. The world. So that is just yeah. so genius that you are a part of that. And you know, thank you. A, a very and, special uh, thing. A lot of congratulations that's got to go out. I mean, everybody. Thank you, homeboy. On thank this, you, homeboy. On, on all our guests right now and us, Paul. A lot of congratulations. A lot of good things God has been blessing us with in these that's situations, right. charting yeah. on the charts. You know, Rob and, and Ice and, and all of these good things. I think we can give ourselves a round of applause. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, of course, God is good. God is right. good all the time, right. all the time. Now, yes, sir. Yes, it sir. is, of course, nine o'clock, and we like to talk about current events or, you know, our version of uh, corrupt. <laughs> while Bill Cosby. you were gone, Bill Cosby. Ah, Bill Cosby, friend. Man. Yes. Bill Cosby. <laughs> Not that Bill is Gates. most Bill Cosby. 
can we all just <laughs> talk about can you believe it? <laughs> It Yo, Cosby said nowhere. all that bullshit that they hit him with, everybody who was against him can suck a pudding pop. <laughs> can suck a pudding pop. Yeah, suck a pudding pop. Drink a, a sip of tea. That right. was funny. Made that by me. Give a round of applause for Pennsylvania High Court. That's Bill right. Cosby. Welcome home, Cosby. That's, That's home. right. That's home, Bill. It's all happy you're back. I, right. I, it oh, yeah. came out of nowhere. I just woke up yeah. and my husband was like, Bill Cosby's out of jail. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. You, you see him walking, Paula? He did his walk. No, I did. I, oh, he did yeah, it. Yeah, did yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I can't fuck around with Bill. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> Richard Pryor ain't alive. Goddamn, Richard oh, Pryor was fucked up. Well, what did you think, Taja? Are you glad that Bill is? Oh, sorry. I thought you were, you were still going. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the thing. I, I, it, okay. I had to kind of stop. I had to kind of stop following it when it was when it was. You know, the story was so big because there was so many different stories. He did it. He right. didn't do it. He did it. He didn't do it. I'm like, I don't really know what's real anymore. Right. So what I'll say to it is this: <clears throat> any type of violation of of someone that they are unaware of is wrong, and you should be treated as such. If he indeed didn't do anything, then yay, get him out. Right. But honestly, I, I honestly stopped following along because the story kept getting so muddled and it was one lady was lying. They proved that it was just so much right. back and forth. I couldn't right. keep up with what's real. And right. unfortunately, the news that we follow now, we don't know what's real. Right. It's like I feel like when we were growing up. We had real news. They cared about the right. integrity of it. But now right. that's not the case. Now it's about the ratings and the story right. and, they, and the spin and how they want to edit something together to make it look more interesting than what what right. it really is You're right it used to be they tried to protect mm -hmm. our celebrities protect but not you know, anymore. now it's like now it's just great. like if they can't find nothing they'll they'll yeah. find something you know Todd, you know you know you know todd I, i'm a i'm a psychologist by nature i'm a lawyer <laughs> by trade i feel like this is just going so somewhere. i can talk <laughs> more right okay. so the lawyer <laughs> in me in my study of this law mm shows me one thing and it's always been true once they throw that smut on your name it's never going to be the same for you and that's your the reputation. problem because anybody can say anything about you and nowadays with this social media going on where people who really don't deserve voices have voices and they can create this thing about a person and people will just believe it <clears throat> right you know, media being missing. You know, while you mention that, it's, it's funny, yeah. you know, corrupt, because we had visitors in town um, over the past weekend. And one of our visitors is a huge fan of yours. And they just could not believe what was going on in that reality show that Think Factory put together about you and that other young lady, your ex, um, and, and it was a marriage boot camp. And right. I tried to tell them, if you believe that Forrest and I were thirsty over our own product, and you believe that Corrupt is loving Hennessy more than that uh, damn tequila, then you a fool. Oh, you, I just, you, cool. I just, yeah. you know, I, <laughs> when you, when you brought that up, it just, it hit me that there are so many people that would rather believe the narrative than believe the truth. You know, right. the, the way that Think what Factory you... creates yeah. drama right. is to belittle those who the people love. You know, reality TV has done it to misuse. Kim Fields, to called, myself, to corrupt. It's called a misuse of power. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and we should sue. The power, you know, you can take down a person's life that's completely innocent, like, like yes. with Bill, you don't know if he's innocent, if he's guilty. I mean, you just can't tell and make a big mess of this. And justice ain't right. started that way. And unfortunately, this is what, uh, this has been here before we were born. You mm -hmm. know, if the Smear campaign is already ruled. Yeah. If the majority, you control the narrative, you control the minds of the people. And that's the yes. thing, that's where it's, that's it. not, it's not fair. And right. that's the whole thing about Bill getting home. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, look, uh, y'all painted this picture of this man, and now that he's home, everybody still want to know, well, did he do it? 
Right. See what I'm saying? We so still he, don't know when it's always same boat. from this point on, people will still. But he served the time. Whether so he, whether he did it or not, you know, I'm I'm looking at it like these are grown ass women. I've had the privilege for the rest of, of his life, with Mr. though, Bobby. Paul. It's certain mud that you can't clean off your shoes. He's yeah, got to live sir. this. If he's innocent, he's got to live this for the rest Forever. of his life. He don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. He gave us so much classic shit. Bill Cosby right. was one of the guys who did his comedy without even cursing. cursing. He, he, mm -hmm. He's been as clean as he can be, and they put smut on somebody that to the Black community was an icon. You did right. it still is. It and still is. From other people's community. Some things you can't I'm gonna be honest with you. In the white community, there's people who are free. Well, who commit murder. Preach. Well, you know what I'm saying? throughout Police. history. Who's free. Throughout mm -hmm. history, like we said, they used to hide the, the smut. So this mm -hmm. justice, this, 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 this justice system right now. <clears throat> Got, they got to control themselves and put a handle mm -hmm. on things. The media is controlling the justice, and that is not it. This is supposed to be a fair whoop whop, and you can't right. get it once the media gets its claws in. Not at all. You know, mm -hmm. you're guilty, period. And it yeah. doesn't matter, you know, mm -hmm. money. They say money can buy you out of shit. Well, Bill's money couldn't buy him out because he was set to be an example. Yeah, that's you know right. what I'm saying? And it's like, that's you're guilty true. until proven innocent, but you're, you're, your your life is still fucked up after now, that. It don't matter. Yeah. I don't know if it was a rumor, but we all did hear that he was in negotiations to purchase NBC at mm, one time go. when, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of, the turmoil happened and it, That's you know, it his son, right. His son mysteriously passed mm -hmm. away on the side of a road. You right. know, they say they if they can't get to They investigated you. Bill to a T, right? Mm -hmm. But they, it mm -hmm. happened to his son's death. What happened to that investigation? You yeah, Ed is, Ed is just passing away. Ass. They did nothing about that. Oh, there's no, rag, there's no bag ass, funky ass motherfucking media piece of shits, jumbo juice. Jumbo jack mouth motherfuckers. Where's that goddamn investigation? Hello. Yeah, That's yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> they have not had an investigation. It, and it's passed away on the side of the road, and they made it seem like nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 bothered me quite a bit. Yeah, me too. Because you know, I know uh, Kosi. Uh, that's Kosi, the the masked voice. That you well, I'm hear. getting my hair Who's done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting my hair done. Now, so. if 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 our boy can come on here deep and he be getting his hair, his nails, his toes waxed, his nose, <laughs> but you see, but you it all. Yeah, yeah, but my image means more to me than that. All right, I mean, I respect this show too much to come up in here with all of that. Aww, so I'm putting up in here. I'm putting up in here. I don't know why, but you respect this stuff. <laughs> I have the professionalism that I have to know that you don't need to see my face, but you can hear my voice and know that I got you covered. Hey. Well, we we were um friends with Ennis, and I went to Howard with Ennis, and. You know, it was a little disconcerting that, you know, that happened and his father was unable to do anything. Get closure. Right. You didn't get closure. Get closure. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't get closure. It was like, it was like and, 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 and it was like when Ennis passed away, that's when all that stuff started. And it's like they kind of swept it under the rug. And, mm -hmm. and tell me, explain to me how uh, a young black man in a, in a $70,000 car with an, uh, uh, another woman in there and 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 he's dead and nobody knows what's going on and no one's talking about it. No one's to this day, you know, it's, it's they're not even making a Biggie Pac movie. They made a Biggie Pac movie out of every little particle of the Biggie Pac mystery. You know, we're not mm -hmm. even getting any type of closure, any type of information. I honestly don't even know what happened. Mm -hmm. So well, you know, you know, just they really hurt this man. It, so whatever, like we're saying, they perceive that he did. Good Lord, has he not paid? Yeah, and, 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 and here's the other thing, too, with, with the whole thing. They, they're trying to say, oh, he got off on a technicality, whatever. Um, when, 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 when African-Americans are found innocent for certain things, oh, it was a technicality. It wasn't that they were innocent. So if it was Harvey Weinstein or somebody else, 
and be like, oh, you know, he was innocent. So now they say, oh, he's not innocent. He's just getting away with it because of a technicality. And then his daughter, Forrest reminded me, passed away a few years ago recently. Right, exactly, exactly. I think she either went to Howard or uh, Spellman as well. I know one of his daughters went to Howard as well. You know, and, and I give I give props to I give props to his wife, you know, coming for you know, with him, you know, and staying with him and making sure you know that you know he came home. And but here's the deal. He needs to sit down and shut up and just and just live the rest of his life. Like 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 our boy Juice. Like you but know, what you're, like, you're hilarious. Why do they have to sit down and shut up? I mean, because, because Juice like, got lots of it. And I because enjoy uh listening to his little rants on Instagram every now and then. I I used to catch them, maybe it was on Twitter every now and then. I don't know if he still does them, but you know, his take on life. But I'm just saying right now, what I'm saying is. I'm not saying forever. I'm just saying right now because people aren't feeling you. You know what I'm saying? Just give us a little energy. Oh yeah. Just give us what, what are you what are you he fingering over there? What the, you playing with pussy, pussy on, on the, the table. table. <laughs> He's not oh, a baby pussy on Come the on. table. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Yo, yo, and the way it looks, I'm like, what is he sticking his finger in? Like, like, where did this show just go? What y'all say? Y'all said it right. I said. Uh, 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 touche, pussy cat. They said, man. <laughs> What's up, pussy cat? Oh, oh. He just loves to be rubbed. On a Tommy, you know a Tommy rub. Uh, Robert, oh I apologize in advance. Okay, Robert, Mr. Mm-hmm. Suit and Tie. I apologize in advance. You got, he Four. got a suit and tie and Jesus in the background. Like, well, yo, Jesus, you know, no. that, that no, was Jesus. Jesus tell me what no, the World is. War II veteran. Right. No, no, you, 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 you know what this is? It, 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 it's a, it's actually, a, actually a dope It's actually it's actually a it's actually a dope ass illustrated poster of Aviator, one of my favorite films by Scorsese. Oh, that's nice. Man, there's only like one one in a hundred. Look, look at that poster, corrupt. It, cuss, illustration, the Aviator. You know that that Isn't scene when they're the in the airplane. About the millionaire guy. Oh no. Yeah, it's about Howard Hughes. Howard yes, Hughes. Howard Great Hughes movie. and PP and all of those water bottles. That's we right. don't want now, that now, part. Now, now I understand. understand the rich part, but the PP and the bottles, that's he took it to the next. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. A little trippy. A little trippy. Yeah. But great movie, though. I understand. All I saw was a bunch of exploding white powder, but now Corrupt came <laughs> Now he got two. Now, now Corrupt got two pussies in his hand. I'm like, what the? I'm like, hi. Oh, my God. Take his He's a player. He's a pussies this week. I just don't understand what's going on. He's a pussy handler. Where did he get that pussy? You can never have a double fist in the pussy. <laughs> yo, yo, corrupt, yo. That's right. This that's is right, a family corrupt. show, corrupt. All corrupt, this you, pussy. Yo, corrupt, you taking me to a yo, nice. corrupt. Corrupt, you taking me to a whole nother level. You, you bring the cougar. Mute. Unmute yourself. Co- you you bringing out the you bringing out the cougar in me, corrupt. Okay, hey, look, okay. Hey. You, can never have, you can never have too much pussy. Why you got the baby pussy? You better go get some grown. No, I'm just playing. I love yeah, I'm so Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm so oh funny. my God. What makes you think they're not grown? Because they little? Look Me? at you. You, okay. hear, you hear auntie. You say you got, auntie. You know I hear you. You big they mouth. Grown. You get the they big mouth. They baby. Me love yo, yo, wait, wait, but yo, yo, Paula, yes. your girl T, she's over there with her head down. She's looking, she's looking like, she's looking, yo, don't look up now. Look up. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was about to text her because I got to go. It's midnight. It's 12 15, where I'm at. And I'm, oh. and I you going to turn into a pumpkin? What is you going to turn no, into a I gotta, pumpkin? I gotta, it's I gotta time go. to almost see the rappers. It, uh, you got to go, Taja. Let me let the niggas in first. Let the, let the men <laughs> see how fine y'all first. Can we get these, get oh, the yeah. man in the house? Yo, yo, because I can tell she was tired of getting bored. She don't want all that pussy in her face. Yo. <laughs> that like dog. Yo, Paula, Paula, I can tell you. Yo, yo, Paula, Dirty I can tell you. Yo, PJ, I can look at her face and tell, like, she's like, I don't know where this is going, but I need to get up out of here. So I need to <laughs> let her, I need to bring her back in and let her know that, yo, we just playing. So, yo, T, what you got going on? Yeah, because she we, classy, we, Cassandra. Yeah, I'm, like, so no, I'm good. I told it's her early. No, no, no. I told her early. 
earlier because I have an early morning. I got to pick up my boy from the airport. Mad oh, early. Oh, your man. And, and I got to work. So I gotta, your I man? Work okay, so sorry, so y'all. She all. got a man. A no real worries. live man. And a good mm-hmm. one because she told me so. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you, Taja. Let oh, us know man, once, so once again where they can find our our new actors workshop academy that my yeah. girl has so beautifully organized for you absolutely hey guys it's called the working actors academy the working actors academy.com it goes live awesome. july 7th the working awesome. actors academy.com and where Thank can we you. find you miss taja at Taja V. Simpson on all things social media. T-A-J-A-V. You gotta have a V. If you don't have a V, it ain't me. Taja it v. ain't her. And yes, on yes. Yo, 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 and wait. on A House Divided. Thank you, you, my love, for coming. Thank you. I think we Thank you guys so much. Bye. Nice again. meeting you. Bye, Robert. Bye. 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 All right, cool. Bye. Bye, guys. You know how? You. you know how to flip yeah. yourself off? Because I don't want to flip We're not going to say bye. We'll say we love you. Love you. Wow. We have some handsome fellers. Hey, yo. D, Derek. Yo, what up, up brother? Yeah, no. Are you on tour with Corrupt? Because every time he go, you you feel like you ain't got to come to work when the boss ain't here. Is that what it is? Uh, nah, I, I was on the road with French. Okay, French Montana? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. you get a pass. Why you didn't bring French Montana on the show? Right, Derek. I will. Yeah, Derek. I will. We're in Seattle oh. right now. Well, where is he? Put his head on the on the thing. Yeah, Derek. He ain't in the room. We'll go in the room he in, Derek. Yeah, Derek. <laughs> you know, oh, you in the wrong room. You supposed to be in the room where the money at. Yeah. You in the broke ass room. That's your white no background. Nobody wants to go in your room. Yo, PJ, did there PJ? There's so many pretty lip. Black men on this show right now. Aren't we I'm lucky, to... Kosi? Aren't we blessed? Yo, um, look, can look, everyone look, look, introduce look. themselves? Let's start with Chris. Since you were here first. I'm sorry, fifth. We gonna get to you. You look like, mm, start with that nigga first. Okay, let's start no, no, with you. Okay, Chris, go ahead and introduce yourself, please. How you doing? I'm Hydro Vig. Oh, okay. Well, somebody else. I'm out of Connecticut. Part of part of the Love Works team with right, Medicine Ronald. Works. Showing love from Connecticut. How what y'all up, doing? Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not your that's your government. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my government. But my what? rap name is Dro, Dro Vidge. Just call me Dro. It's Dro. Yo, Dro, Dro, you need to put you need up, to put your name in the you need to type the right name in there so we ain't coming to call you by your government name. Yeah, because right? y'all you be don't want to call at you me. by your government I'm name. Sorry. You I'm need sorry. to type I'm in the me. names you want us to call you by. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay, next. I was Mr. Glenn. Uh, uh, Ronald just name. jumped on your introduction. I, no, I was you know what? You know in, what? in the battle. He's just going to jump on you like that? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You know what's funny? My name, my government name, Chris, too, but they call me young Corey. So everybody calling my middle name is Corey. So oh, I'm, so I don't so even didn't even know hearing who Chris, Chris like, was. <laughs> I was like, who is Chris? I think I'm like, damn, that's my government name. I mean, don't nobody call me my government name, so it's crazy. Okay. But my middle name is Corey. Everybody okay. call me Corey, though. And what right. is your rapper name? Young Corey. Young Corey. Young All Corey. right. Yeah, I'm out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for sure. And, and who brought you? Who, who's, um, who's Andre K. Name? Jefferson. Andre K. Hey, Jefferson. Andre. <laughs> yeah, my boy. My boy. Okay. And fifth. What's going on? What's going on, bruh? You, you needed doing? that water. Where you yeah, from? It's, it's <laughs> hella hot over here. I don't, I don't know where y'all at, but I am. It's hot in here. Where, where are you? So I'm in I'm in the Bay Area, in Northern California. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you oh. with my boy, Young Drake? Yes, sir. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. That's, how we, that's how we got locked in. Okay, so he's mine, y'all. That's who I'm representing. That's who's representing me tonight. Yeah. First of all, the one who came on mad gully, like, what? I ain't gonna get to do the first. That, that's mine. That's me, y'all. That's me. All right, all right. Not so, PJ, all. so PJ, so PJ, yes, I want to pick. I want to pick Ronald, right? But Ronald, what I need you to do is, I need you to give me some more light on your face because we can't see you. You know what I'm saying? So what I need you, you to pick him for. What you picking him for, Kyle? Because I think I like his lips. 
I like his lips <laughs> and his shirt. So I want you to make sure when we do this battle, he's giving us everything he can possibly give us. So he ain't giving me enough light. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody else is, you know, yo, I, iPhone. I can't see his name because it's just his iPhone. Glenn, Fifth, everybody got mad light. So I want Ronald to give me mad light. So when we do this, I can, I, it's on, it's on and popping. Now you, see that you can only get this on the Paula J. <laughs> 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 She's loving the lips. And I got. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> oh, there right. you go. Yeah, now we see them lips. Now I see what you doing, baby girl. How you, you doing? You hit them lips the minute he got on screen, cause he right. you was on them lips. I didn't even see no lips. Till he put the light on. I knew okay. there was lips there. I knew there was lips. I knew there was lips. Okay, let's do this. Let's now rock this. today's um beat comes from the phenomenal Derek uh D frequency. I'm gonna get all of these aliases. Y'all be be wary of folk with too many aliases. That's that's a little something. Mm. She tell you her name Brenda. Somebody else say her name Sharon. Mm, there's a problem there. Oh, uh, and here's our boy, Fels Obama. Fels, um, while you were gone, corrupt, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Fels Barber was murdered, killed, died the week after coming on our show. And um, we, we, we did the right things as far as honoring him that I knew of, it, everything but pray. Uh, God, please welcome your son, Phils. Um, But I felt some kind of way. So, you know, you weren't here to meet Phils or Holiday, but we did give him a moment of, um, of silence the, uh, the following Friday after. So please do not, we, 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 we ask you not to give your address on the show anymore. Um, he gave his address and it, it just, it, it broke my heart that I met someone on Friday, the following Friday they were gone. So um, we ask no, no, no drama. This, this is for our careers, guys. Um, we, we only want you guys to win and you, and you can do that in life. And we love Phil so much that we're trying to get him out of that situation. And um, out here, Chi-Town, he said, is smoking with um, death and, and craziness right now. So welcome back, Fels. Hey, how you Fels? Doing today? I had to catch Corrupt <laughs> up. Fels, this is Corrupt, Corrupt <laughs> Fels. Um, and it's why his beautiful wife, Lily, everyone. Or is that, that is half a Lily? Or is that, the, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone, that's Lily. So, Fels, um, since you never got to meet Corrupt, Corrupt, um, is there anything you might want to add since you did? When you're gone, man, I, I don't know. Somebody died. I just, I don't know. Man, baby girl, my best friend got killed last week, and his nephew got killed an hour later. Oh, Jesus. Dang. No, it's been a war zone from as well. Very sad out here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So many people dying, man. It's, it's just sad. Well, you want to shout him out right now? and. Yes, man. Rest in peace, Shamar Swinton, man, a.k.a. Chili, man. I miss you, bro. We love you all. Yes. Love you, Chili. So, um... Fells, is there anything you'd like to say about Holiday, the barber, or just in general, anything, any way you feel? I see you got your hair cut. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of filming. I've been doing a lot of filming. Oh, my God, it's good. See? <laughs> see, this show is a blessing. I, and, you know, the day the, the day you came on, we, we were supposed to talk about Holiday because you checked in at 8 o'clock. You weren't supposed to check in until 9. And the person that was supposed to um, come on got held up and weren't able to. And the fact that you were able to come on at 8.15 and we talked about Holiday for a whole 45 minutes and your journey and his death. I, I just think that was him still having your back, you know, beyond this plane. So, um, oh, welcome, Andre, young Dre. Are you gonna spit too? Dre is with Fifth. I What's think up, they're Dre? cousins. 
Yeah, I'm, I I brought Fifth and I brought uh, Blend. Okay. Oh, love. Here's someone else. We got, like, uh, we like, like we stacked. Like, uh, we got Pi Ru like, coming in now. They sound oh, no. like, uh, Pi, Pi, they sound Pi like, you. Hey, 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 hey uh, uh, Paul, they sound like they from Aftermath. Yeah, <laughs> Only person we missed is him. Cool. Yo, Pi, you Pi, need to be got Oh, Yo. that's family. What's you're, up, fam? You're What's my up, cousin fam? in law, yeah. but that is, you know, hey, you are a grown up. up. <laughs> I'm 14. Coming to the car, don't go, don't go, wait, take me. <laughs> What's that? Hey, hey, Sandra, Sandra likes a wreck. That's right. We going to get you out here, baby, one way or to another. Uh, another, I know that's right. Love Welcome, Kenzo. Thanks for having me. Huh? Well, thanks for being here. Talk about it. Welcome. You know, Who you know what? Uh, huh? What are you representing? Oh, Memphis, Tennessee, loud game. Oh, yeah. Foul game. Off the muscle. You already so, know. You won something, Forrest was telling me, on my old network, TV One. Oh, right, they exactly. They love me. They gon' they <laughs> gonna stay loving They do me. love you. They love you. Oh, they do. So, so they know you my cousin, huh? I don't I, think they know that, though. No, I don't think they know that. Well, how you know they love me? They be talking about me. I just know they I just know they showed you a lot of love from my outside. <laughs> they showed you a lot of love, you know. I love you. They love you. They well, might not welcome. admit it though. So um who's gonna do this? Corrupt, since you're back, Robert, since you're the guest, since it's your beat, Kosi, since it's your voice. I'm not, I'm sitting back and listening. So corrupt, <laughs> baby, you take over because you have me doing it all by myself. So you I mean, it's you your turn. To. It's your turn. I, I'm putting the mute on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's two different beats. So we got two different beats. Who did the beats? Frequency did one or you did both? Frequency did a beat and somebody's force is competing against Frequency's beat. Rowdy Productions. And who are they, D? Which one is Rowdy? Well, he's not here, so we're going to use Frequency's beat because it's time to go. And well, it's why, not, why, not, why not use both? You dig what I'm saying? Oh, well, I'm mute. I'm mute. Mute. <laughs> both. Let's see what it sound like. You dig it? Frequency. I must let you know. Pussy whistle made it on my next possible Pentagon with me and Master Killer. Job. I hit the vault and Pussy found whistle. it. Okay. Right. Pussy want to hear that one? To my cat. Can you make We'll start with the guy that's not here. Where's his beat at? And who's busting? Where's the other beat? I think you have to go with. Okay, so they've all got the beat that they've chosen to use. Uh oh, here comes oh, yeah. the champion. Champion Kela. Here comes the champion. So the champion Kela. So who's the champ? Jay Discreet. So who's yeah, ready to go? I'm ready right now. Go for I it. Beat, I got the beat pulled up right here. Let's go. And which one have you chosen? Young. Put it on, beat. I'm in the studio right now. I got it already pulled up. Who's put it on? Rowdy. As the administrator, are you? Hey, rowdy. rowdy. I'm Rowdy. All right, Rowdy. Rowdy, this is Frequency, Frequency, Rowdy. Hey, how you doing? What's up? So, how you doing? All right. For Rock One is some now. competition with he's the beat. Two for one now. He's two for one now. Corrupt won a competition because I think Corrupt on the D download be looking for beats. So, Rowdy, <laughs> here you go. Nah, he got Fred. He's good. He won a stone. I know Rowdy got two under his belt right now. Fifth chose Rowdy. And is it Rowdy or Roddy? Rowdy. Rowdy Productions. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And where are you from, Rowdy? I'm from Memphis. Memphis. Yes, Tennessee. Oh, represent. Because I represent, love it homie. in the accent. Ain't nothing yeah. like Southern man, a Southern gentleman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Chris, let it go, baby. Ready, let's do it. You want to do it? Yep, yeah, go ahead. Turn yep. the beat up. All right, shut up. All right, guys. You hear that? 
Yeah. Uh, I be on 60 second with the Mac 11. Got the black pros up like Michigan. Two phones, what the business is. And my circle smaller than the Michelin. Zero on me, I be flipping shit. Y'all be killing shit, leave no witnesses. They fuck it with me for my benefits. And when I tell them about it, they get sensitive. Check sign with the penmanship. Got me pillin' shit up at the dealership. Some fans dressing up as citizens. I be fresh as fuck in every picture them. Squad shit, just like rock and flock. niggas got the choppers like a helicopter. Make the city stock and see you to the doctor. If he talk to the doctor, and I talk a lot of things. I got a lot of niggas. Put some promise with me, promise. Drama lucky, like never bummer. He counted comments, put that on my mama. Niggas be the case like I'm Johnny Cabrera. Still facing, now no Tatiana. Tell that Tatiana, give me Tatiana. Give her pussy trauma with his anaconda. Now she call me Papa. Make that girl a mama. Got her head bobbing. 740 with the red ops. While the feds watching, bitch, I'm from Wisconsin. I got niggas popping and they popping noggins. Yeah, that's something common and no competition. Gotta mention that it's one addition to these bars given. And it's hard living. Shit is like a prison shit. Man, listen, all my shit be hitting like a car collision. Level sounded like a Harley in it. Niggas stop laughing when they saw me in it. Had to stop. Traffic niggas always in it. That's Milwaukee and me on my niggas selling. I'm on 50 seconds, going in 50 seconds, and that 50 sudden. Gotta keep it steady when I put the heavy, but I'm with the Chevy. Just some I'm new Machiavelli, yeah, that Mac is deadly. I'm that nigga coming out the flow. Yeah, always ready for the unexpected, like he's 47 when to go. I used to be trapping right about that pubic. Like I was just a young nigga trying to grow. Uh, 65 for the beans, that ain't tax included. Now let's get into it. I don't say a lot. Nigga, no computer, take you out the picture like a nigga drew it. I'm in packing paper every since it's true. niggas had to lose it, never had to prove it. Ways never changed. That's just how I do it. 25 back when I start producing. 60 minute shows, call me down on do it. I've been going through it. Shit up in my music. Yeah, uh, hey. But that be really on some crack shit. Matter of fact, that's a lady. I've been really on some kind of thinking back shit. 10 years of this rap shit, all this whack shit that I'm in tap with. Niggas lying like dope fiends. I'm going back like a back shit. Yeah, I'm not with that shit. It's cool, man. It's not last shit. Yeah, I'm not with that shit. No past tense, making fast cash with passion. Yo, bitch, going for my accent. Both town, six two cap shit, course. All right. I'm gonna have to ask everyone to mute yourself. If you are not speaking or rapping, please what? mute yourself. Pyru, baby, could you mute yourself? Pyru. You. All right. All I right. know Machiavelli. Man, that Mac is deadly. Hey. <laughs> you are cold. I heard that. Uh, take you out yeah. the picture like a nigga drew it. You are cold. I heard that. Hey. I heard that correctly. Hey, you quoting them bars? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it was so many of them. Like, what? After another, Appreciate right, Corrupt? And when I saw he had you, I saw you, I know he had you when you was like, like your, your <laughs> mouth was like trying to like, you know, like right. That like, was like, 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 like you saw, like you I'm saw the you saw you saw the cotton you, mouth I'm come. Gonna call, I'm gonna call you Court <laughs> Gatlin. Gatlin gun, like the gun, because he be spitting it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. But he still has that old school. Um, he reminds me of like one of the members of Far Side, or that he still That's has true. that 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 classic sound. You know, I that know, is very I sing song the jungle, plus. The jungle's getting dangerous right now, man. Who fuck around with Corey, man? Yeah, who's that? Because that, was Cause that uh, hey, it was. Who, I yeah, wouldn't want to go after that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, heard, I heard somebody y'all making all kinds of noise and shit in the middle of it. <laughs> no, that was fire. I I, I, I got it ready. Hopefully the uh, the volume the volume is right. Go for it. Yeah, okay. let me see. Can you hear the volume? Okay. Everyone else, yep. please put yourself on silent. Chris, turn it up. Thank you. Turn it up. Oh yeah. Can you hear it now? Yeah. yeah. Yo, you, you know, I'm doing these shows now. Look, I'll be out on the road now. Look, for so many years, I had to do what I could. I'm going to do what I want now. Look, don't tell me to slow down. I've been patiently waiting. I'm on now. I come from the bottom, though too many make it to come from my hometown. Look, develop my own sound. And the shit I be speaking is profound. I told them the family is people that act like your family. I'm choosing my bros now. On a whole nother level, man, this shit is better. Yeah, hope you I made it another year. I come from the struggle with nothing. I won't play it safe. I can't live in no fucking fear. Yeah, Nipsey died. I was devastated. Kobe passed, I was hella faded. Damn it, not again. Why these stories gotta end? Who the fuck is narrating? You can quote me, no paraphrasing. I say what I mean, it's shit very basic. You scared of a risk, you barely take them. Scared of an essence, you'll never pay them. Don't matter the shit that they never gave us. You fuck what they taught us when they enslaved us. I ain't gonna be quiet. 
We yelling at you from the roof. We gon' wake the neighbors. I did for myself. I ain't beg for favors. The shit that I've been through don't make the papers. Out for this bread, I'm gonna make the paper. A whole nother league like I made the majors. Oh, yo, right. that Kobe line was the shit, man. Right. I appreciate it. Okay, are we eliminating? Are we fire. gonna? Are we just going here, Ma? You got them all. Let them fall. Okay, because I could, I couldn't pick. Let you got to hear them all. Let Next. them fall. Robert, keep a lookout. You, you part of this judging. I'm looking. Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, okay. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. Who's next? All right. Shit, I can go. Fuck it. Okay, so that's <laughs> three on uh, uh, Rob, uh, uh, admin, uh, Rowdy. Rowdy. <laughs> right. You got an administrator there. I get confused. I don't. I don't know how to change it. My bad. Oh, that's okay, honey. That's all right. The beat speaks for you. He knows how to administrate too. Mm. Go for it. <laughs> all right. Exactly. exactly. This shit is it's fire. Who's next? All right. I got chose a uh, frequency that's dead. It's probably you. You in there, freak? Let's get it. Let's see. Make sure y'all can hear me good. All right. Here we go. Can y'all hear that? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Here we go. Welcome to the synagogue, nigga, on the squad, nigga, how you been to God? Ain't no need for acting hard, nigga, yeah, you know who you are, yeah, you been a fraud. Flow sick and sauce, got your boy dancing with the stars off the Peter Tosh. Everybody acting like I'm just getting started. Nah, bro, I been a fraud. Hanging out with your baby mom, and she want the rod, I ain't even hit her. Took another route before I left the house, let her mouth feed a babysitter. Never been a quitter, it's the return of the real. Got the fake all in they feels, say what you will, long as you know it. That's beef, how you got heat for they grill. What you gonna do? Think you can out rock the crew? You sniffing glue or Peru. Lock up the doors and never peruse. That's how bad standards end up on your news. My city known to test your life, protect your lease. Got that mic of Jordan, come back on the side to keep that peace. We won't cease. Laughing my ass off, try to count us out. They math off, about to blast off. Cause I'm top brass smoking first class with the state off. Cut the brakes off. When the gang come through, yeah, it's gonna make a big noise. And we ain't come here to play Eddie Long on the song. We ain't playing with you live boys. Before you rebuild, got to destroy. And y'all have got as real as a decoy. And I'm colder than iceberg slim on a side town night. Temperature negative four. We got that raw. Crown me king like Mansa Musa. Y'all the ducks and we the shooters. Y'all the plucks and we the looters. Disturb your peace with retributors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, Derek. What you say, hater? Hey, 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 Derek. Tell uh, uh, uh This is called uh, 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 movie television one on one. You don't eat while you listening to your beat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You on television, nigga? The fuck is you doing? You know what? Happens. He That's might be hungry. Unless it's he in, might the, be it's hungry. in the script. You know, That's a hard beat, man. He been busy with uh, <laughs> right. that man. You know what I'm saying? You got to wait to eat until Montana. lunch break, mother night. Hey, what? <laughs> French Montana. Lovely, 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 lovely. The French food. Salute, man. Appreciate over it. There, huh? French food because he with French Montana. Ain't this yeah. a bit? No. <laughs> French Montana don't eat French food? French fries? <laughs> Yeah, everybody <laughs> eat French fries. Okay, you know, this was asking, damn. Because you with French Montana, don't mean you got to eat French food. I would, shit. Yeah. Where you at, French? French, French? Give me while some damn. Food, while you eating French food, French Montana eating gumbo. In Canada. Oh. <laughs> I eat French food, and I love it. And he looked like he come from Canada. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you in your it's eye, a you're done. You're done. Oh, he's done. Moroccan? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I eat that too. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mute myself. Hey, who's who's that? that was lovely, man. Good Appreciate job. that. Y'all all sounding good. You dig? Who's next? Can y'all hear me? We only have, we only have um, 15 more minutes. So 15 more minutes. Let's make Let's it happen. Clock. Come Come clock. 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 Can y'all hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me good? Who's that? Yep. We're not going to leave until the last person spits. It's Jay. It's Jay. I'm going to go. 
Okay. I did uh I did the bodega joint uh by frequent. By the way, um corrupt, I don't know if you knew, but Jay got invited to join a tour and he's been out on the road with the uh, um tell corrupt about it. Corrupt I don't think corrupt um knew about your blessing. He I know I don't, I don't want to interrupt the vibe. I'm gonna give okay. him the vibe because you got a crew. Mute it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Be good. Come on, Jay. I can hear you. Ice on deck. Glass don't clink and reflect. Light for the Cuban link on it. Ice on rip. Shotty got her eyes on dick. Oh, you know she got her mind on six. I'm on one shot, two shot, three. That's about ten to watch. She shot me. Um, my D rolls like Easter week. I'm so fresh that I still do an Easter speech. Domestic ties, I beat the beat. That a rapper's neck like a Jesus piece. Celebrate long live the street. No check for check and no week for week. Loud on good, you can hear it in the air. Party over here, nothing over there. Party of the year, it ain't hard to tell. We like lined up like they going to the fair. Yeah, straight like that. Four bars in, and I'm about to catch a case like that. Push got me baked while I'm fucking up the cake, and I'm heating up the track to the milk like wet. Shot to the spot in the back where the shelf go hard. Getting to a fake white cut. Shot to the face like a boxer. Save your type, I'm going to do the lobster. I can't do the shrimp, though. Tighten up my pimp, though. Filling up my time like a monster. Only try giving that gospel. Doing what I love like a doctor. The way I paint pictures, I'm an artist. I hear a song right I'm an author, yo. I'm an author and an architect. They should give me my props like a movie set. The only reason I ain't made a movie yet, because a whole lot of people ain't knew me yet. The new me set, they let the old me get with a camera in and just damage it. Scandalous on the amateur when the brandy mix with the cannabis. One toast for the wordplay. The street day is a one way and I'm gone. Oh! Yeah! yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. yeah Jay, let him know. We in there now? Yeah, yeah, we in there. Nice cipher, nice cipher. Good job, gentlemen. Who's next? Ronald, Ronald, what's hey, up? They, cause it, if they gonna act too crazy, hey, I can I'm right. Also. Ronald oh, yo, right yo, here. Yo. But, yo, but Ronald on. don't got no beat. I ain't got a beat from the two uh, engineers or producers there, so I'll end up doing something that I have on my own, if y'all don't mind. Go for Go it. Smoking on that Aretha. Bagging up that Alicia. Planting all in Aisha. Percocet in that Keisha. Smoking on that Aretha. Bagging up that Alicia. Planting all in Aisha. Percocet in that Keisha. Homie, don't play around. I hit the block and I lay him down. Curve off the block and I spray the pen. Hit up the block and flip back around. Designer like fashion was popping, not cracking. We won't leave a witness. They won't know what happened. See, homie, it's funeral. I got the pole on my shooter, though. He threw a shot. He let him fly. Might leave a hole in your shooter, though. Smoking on dope till my lungs hurt. Killer cat publishing love works. I tell the truth to your love hurts. But not the first to put love first. Smoking on that Aretha. Bagging up that Alicia. Yeah. Betting all the nice. <laughs> Perk set in that case. Smoking on that Aretha. Bagging up that Alicia. Betting all the nice. Perk set in that case. Yeah. Smoking on Aretha. Uh, love, love, you love, love, love. Aretha. Got that hook. Yeah. Got that hook. Got that hook down. Mm-hmm. Love that Aretha. You saw that Aretha. <laughs> That's that good you're, stuff. You're bagging up that Aretha. Representing <laughs> that Keisha. Keisha. Oh, you got some keys. Some keys. Let's get to it, bro. Right. On one of that my Aretha. dreams is to do. One of my dreams is to come out and do some work with some of the legends out there on the West Coast coming from the East Coast, man. So 
Well, thank you. Being able to talk to you is a, is a dope move. I appreciate it, man. And we definitely want to collaborate on this. Man. I don't think my sister know what you mean when you say bagging up that Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> That's an uncut bar. That's an uncut bar. I made, it, I made it sound clean. He's talking about cocaine. <laughs> Key, Alicia. I knew Aretha. Key. I know Aretha. Oh yeah, you got. And that. I understood Percocet and Alicia. <laughs> almost. Keisha. Me too. Almost, almost. Next. <laughs> Who's the only puppet? Good job. So many people that Alicia in here. was the one. Alicia bagging up that Alicia bagging Smoking up. Smoking on that Aretha. Key. I like that, Aretha. You got yes. the you got, you got what a way to immortalize the queen. You got the gaudy. Oh. You got that hook, baby. Who's next? Did Jason Harris go yet? The hater? He Jason said on. he was ready. Hey, he hates to go on next. Hey, uh, you know, since you got so many great people rapping, uh, just to be contrary, uh, I ain't gonna rap. All right. Let everybody know how much you hate them. Uh, well, that's a what's understood and got to be explained. Uh, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Hello. Get it. Who's next? All right. So we got someone that says administrator, but there's no name. I see your face. What's your name, administrator? Well, Administrator did is Rowdy. He did the one. He's the one who everybody. Uh, uh, we got one frequency, and we got, I think three. Fell said Rowdy. he was ready. He's one of them producers. He is the producer, and frequency's the producer. So his name is Rowdy because he makes Rowdy, he makes him Rowdy Rowdy. Rowdy Rowdy. All right. So you you did your thing already. Um, Fell, so you ready, sweetie? Bells yeah, I want to see if my audio all right. I hope it's right. I ain't what got happened to Hater? He said he wasn't ready? You, you not ready yet, man? The... Hater said he hate to go on next. You know what, Hater? We hate to hate. He said I'll right now there. he hate rapping. I'll be there. I'll be there July 15th. Okay, yeah. He's coming here July. Okay, so that means you need to bring Paiu and um, who else was coming from Memphis? Man, Man, Rowdy, oh, you Rowdy, oh, you Jay. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Y'all need to come out here with him on the 15th. We're going to do a concert. I'm down. No. Okay, cool. All right. Are you ready, Fells? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So I was going to use this uh, beat right here, this young Ari beat. Oh, young Ari in the house. Oh. Look, first let me tell you that love works. And after that, they be calling up mail, they be asking what show's worth. And if you look at the news and the shot, they'll show you them guns work. Hitting the secret, we beat in my city, but now we just getting at the curse. Now we just getting at the curse. Look, this is a fair warning. Cause I think the bars is back and they be asking for heat. So here go the fire. So I think they all should go tap. Death in my city, but we on the map. Feel like a dyke how I'm moving with scrap. You pay a fee when you like us a fact. That's why I be moving with Johnny and Mac with no seats in the back. Obama. You ain't gotta listen too hard to feel me. And I can't sign with Illuminati cause them killers too rough in the city. The holy be with me. Feel like I'm rapping with Drizzy. I'm the rap Chris Breezy. I just took a trip out of alley with it, smoke a swift, start getting cheesy. Rapping is easy. But is you dropping that music on the net free for attention without a marketing plan? Just another man probably ain't never get mentioned. I'm on a mission. See his lawn bump vision. Told me I'm with it and trap on the image. Man, like, goddamn, he said he'd be kicking that shit. I never know he kicking. First, let me tell you that love works. And after that, they be calling up man, they be asking what shows work. And if you look at the news on the side, they'll show you that the guns work. Get in the secret, we beef in my city, but now we just getting out the curse. But now we just getting out the curse. First, let me show you how love works. Yo. Oh, yeah, let Yo, me show you how love works. Uh, <laughs> Yo, let me show how love works. <laughs> Yo. Robert, love works. That was, that was hot, right, Robert? Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Jason, <laughs> you on now, dude. It's now or nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, it's nothing. 
I just got off the road. I ain't got no, no uh, uh, set up with that. Uh, it's yeah, it's nothing. I don't have a. I just got off the road. I ain't got no beef set up with that. Nothing. It's nothing. So, so I'm gonna be. You know, I got to be 100. I love it all. Right now, the crown goes to Chris. Oh. Oh my bad. One thing about when you're in the mic and you're spilling, you never do a song. You go for broke. Ooh. Rule number one, microphone 101. You bust like your life depends on it. You do not do G thing Ooh. when you are in a world war. And also there's no friends, no matter how much you love them. The mic is what you live for and you must take it very serious. You don't do songs because you ain't selling a record. And the only way to sell your rhymes and let people know that you are the one is to go to war. That's how you'll be able to get to make a song. Chris went to war, period. He didn't come with a hook. He went straight through Gatlin and didn't stop. And that's another one. Microphone 101. You never stop. I might have done I picked the small bus one. He said, I don't do I don't do the freestyles, yo. I'm about to pin. I said, cool. And I started busting. I bust for three hours. And that's why he went on Rap City and said the best freestyle I heard was Krupp from the dark. And I'm from the West Coast. Philly original, West Coast raised. Uh, Biggie Small said I was that because I never stopped rapping. Puffy went to the fucking store and came back. He's still 30 rapping. minutes later, an hour later, and said, he's still rapping? <laughs> what the fuck? Biggie's looking like. That's okay. how you earn your respect. Now, I might have done Fells a disservice on the last show he came on. He was doing just spin straight bars. And I was like, well, maybe you need to do what Ronald did and give us a hook. Give us something we can hold on to. So as a professional, I said the wrong thing because Ronald gave us that dope hook. Fells was spitting bars, but not as like, like Chris, like he did. Wait, who, who's Chris, though? Who won? Uh, maybe young, young Chris Gatlin. Was he, right. What number was he? The first, second, third? First. Young Corey Gatlin. The first. The first. Young Corey Gatlin. Gatlin. Like the first one. Appreciate All right, that's my, that, that, that would be my vote too, Corrupt. Well, I, I liked you. my cousin, Pi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. I liked his yeah. vocal delivery. Yo. It wasn't right. just the size, but he reminds me of Biggie. He's got, and I'm, I'm not, I don't mean it in a, why are you laughing? Your cousin is laughing. I did not say anything funny. But he, he's got that, not just the swag and the sex appeal coming from a thick man, but he's got a command of his vocal cord that I respect. You know what, hater? You are a hater. A hater, hater. <laughs> that is, that is, that is, that is you a hater. Yo, PJ, I'm tired PJ. of your hate. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo. Hey, tell him, show him how to spread that love. But I must admit, Chris, young, young Corey Gatlin, if you don't take that name that the Godfather just blessed you with, you a fool. Young Corey okay. Gatlin, you are the one. The Gat. That's the new name, young Corey Gatlin. I appreciate that. It's love right there. Salute. Um, Congratulations, man. Good job. Uh, and as our, our self-appointed moderator has let us know, it's time to go. It's time to go. Hey, uh, time. What crew are you from, Corey? Shout out your crew so we can have you back next week. You, Paiu, Ronald, Fels. Um, Jay, you come back just because we love Bye. you. Hater, I don't know why you want to come back because you don't say <laughs> And your beat again for the so you come back with another beat to show frequency you ain't a one hit wonder uh, I got you and Thank if you, you want to come man. back and show Thank that Thank you got something you. better than Thank what they saw I'm gonna tell you something. then you're more you than go. welcome you too Fels because I believe in you Fels oh. Ronald you're invited back because you had the hook of the fucking year that's right. I'm gonna tell you something. What? The producer dude. 
He dope, but he can't he can't hold my jacket. I believe you. So you got to prove it. Right now, I'm just hearing words. I need to hear beats, my love. No, because I'm on the road. All right. Wait till I get off the road. Okay. Uh, Okay. I don't know. French don't have a a beat maker or a sponsor thing of radio. (laughs) Beat maker. I don't know. (laughs) Robert, let everyone know where we can find you. You know, Corrupt and I will be finding you next week so we can get down on it. Come on and get our show on the on the air. Cause this kind of love needs to, to see the world. That's right. And sure, what is sure. that on top of your head, young Gatlin? That's like God that put a it's like a halo or something. That's my light up. I'm in the studio here, right now. Love. I'm at the crib. That's I'm in the we about to get in. You have been hey, P- no. hey PJ. Can yes. I can I give can I give one more shout out for my telethon next week? Cause we won't be on, so you won't talk crap about me. Sure. Beat the Streets that Life Telethon is July 7th. Paula J. Parker is going to be on at 5.45 uh, West Coast time, which is 8.45. I have Rodney Allen Ripley. I have over 50 celebrities. We're raising money for Feed the Streets that Life. So please join us. Make it happen. And Corrupt I need you. I, I got two more spots I need to fill. He ain't even so, doing the, his own show. What are, what are you talking about? What is, this block is empty. Robert, yeah, yeah, yeah. where can we find you, my love? Uh, IG, Robert.Parada. Yeah. Thank you so much for blessing us with the game. Um, You're welcome. Rob, Thank you, I guys. love you. Sit down so we love can log too. off and smile pretty, my love. I, I like to say yeah. anything before you leave. There you go, Corrupt. I like to say, Jason. The, all the yeah. all of the all of the gentlemen were tight. All of all of the gentlemen who were rapping. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Everybody, smile. Bye. And we'll see all the pussies in the house. Say bye. Peace. 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 Peace.